Hello everyone and welcome to the second Tepa Hunters devlog. In this devlog we'll be discussing all the progress that has been made in the past two weeks and give you some sneak peeks for what is coming next. Stay tuned and enjoy. So in the previous versions of the game the vehicle movement was kind of strange and very buggy. As you can see in the gameplay here at some points it seems somewhat natural and in other places well as you can see bugs very much out. Also the suspension, rotation and just overall speed and the way the vehicle behaves on the terrain is very strange. When colliding with objects the vehicle might fly into the sky or show other weird behaviors as you will be so seeing here. And then if you keep on driving it pretty much flies into the sky and shows us weird behavior. So what we've done is we have reworked the new vehicle system to fix all these weird issues. As you can see in this demo we have still the same vehicles and when I start my vehicle and start driving around you'd notice instantly that there's a difference between build up of speed we have reworked the system entirely including as you look at the wheels with now proper suspension which fully moves with the terrain no more weird build up of speeds or strange behavior where you can see the car flying in the air or even when it's on its back still moving forwards as you can see bumping into things no longer launches the vehicle into the sky like a rocket And as you can see the movement with the wheels based on the terrain and the overall speed and motion of the vehicle feels much more smoother than what we have had before. Now there is still work to be done on the vehicles and that will be done in the coming updates. Things such as getting in and out is still sometimes a bit buggy. We are looking into that so stay tuned for that. Now another thing that has changed is the interface of the player. At the bottom left you can see the weapons and the health bar. But from the point of view graphics wise the way things look and the way things are represented visually we were not pleased with how it looked. It seemed a bit off to the game style. And then now here in the bottom left corner we have the new and updated UI. It has new colors assigned according to the game's visual look. We have a new health bar with an actual health icon to display to you guys that is actually about the health. And we've reworked the colors. And finally, we have some footage of our new and upcoming Peruvian jungle map. I'll just let you all enjoy this for a bit and see all the changes. But the main things that we have added are a cenote, which is pretty much a, a deep, dark sinkhole in the ground where the ancient Mayas and Aztecs would um, perform ceremonies. And another thing that we have added are some swamp and marshlands for you guys to explore, fight and maybe even get stuck into. Enjoy the footage and let us know what you think in the comments if you have any feedback.
And that will be all for this week's devlog. I hope you all have enjoyed this little insight into our development. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel and give Tempo Hunters a wishlist on Steam. Thank you all for watching once again and I hope to see you all out there hunting for treasure.